In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to bonds, notes payables, and long-term liabilities. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. First question, bonds which mature at multiple dates are either A, stock bonds, B, bearer bonds, C, callable bonds, D, high value fund bonds, or E, serial bonds. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Bonds which mature at multiple dates are A, stock bonds. Uh, stock bonds, I'm not sure that's a thing. So stock bonds, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't think that sounds familiar in, in our uh, bond types. B, bearer bonds. That sounds like a type of bond. If we don't know what they are, we could say maybe B. C says callable bonds. And again, uh, that sounds like familiar. So if we don't know what callable bonds are, it might be that one. C says high value fund bonds. And from an investment perspective, we might say, hmm, that sounds kind of like a thing, but it's not, it, that's not really one of the types of bonds we've been really looking at. So high value fund bonds, if we, in terms of the material we've been seeing here, doesn't look like a bond type that sounds familiar. So I'm going to say D, cross that out. And E says serial bonds. And that sounds familiar. So serial bonds is something we've looked at. So we're left with B, C, and E as just basically the types of bonds that uh, sound familiar that we've looked at. So if we go through this, we're gonna say bonds which mature at multiple dates are either bearer bonds, callable bonds, or serial bonds. Now between those three, bearer bonds sounds least likely, and callable bonds uh, and serial bonds sound callable meaning maybe it's called before the maturity date, maybe we can call it multiple times. And then serial bonds have a series. And of those two, it's actually going to be serial bonds because the callable bonds just has the one, you know, callable before maturity. The serial bonds are the ones that have the multiple dates of maturity. So the answer is E. We go through that again. Bonds which mature at multiple dates are E, serial bonds. Next question, secured bonds, A, have assets pledged as collateral, B, are tied down, E, are guaranteed by the issuer's bank, D, are paid back at various uh, maturity dates, or E, are the same as callable bonds. So we'll go through the process of elimination. Secured bonds are either A, have uh, secured bonds either a have assets pledged as collateral so that's possible that assets being pledged pledged as a way to secure the bond b are tied down uh, i think you know that'd be like a different way of using the word secured so i don't think that's <clears throat> i don't think that's it b we'll take that one off c says are guaranteed by the issuer's bank now again, if we don't really know what secured bonds are, that might sound reasonable. That might be one way that something could be secured. That would be nice. Uh, D says are paid back at various maturity dates. Now that's not that doesn't have anything to do with securing anything really. If they're paid off at different dates, and that's actually the the serial bonds. So it's not D. And then E says are the same as callable bonds. And again, I don't think the secured bonds sound the same as callable. Uh, bonds typically so I don't think it's going to be E so we're left with A and C uh, so let's go through this again secured bonds either A have assets pledged as collateral or C are guaranteed by the issuers bank now of the two it's actually going to be 
A here. So when something is secured, it means that uh, we, we've pledged some collateral to it. So some type of asset is, is going to support the bond, meaning if the payments don't happen, they can force the selling of the assets in order to pay off uh, what, the, what is due in terms of the bonds.